this is the work that I mentioned before that I was involved in uh, um, for my graduate studies. Uh, so this is yours truly here in 1997, uh, walking around, people calling out Ghostbusters after us. That movie was actually, uh, the real movie, right? The old movie it was actually filmed on Columbia's campus. So uh, um, there was a link there. Um, and uh, so this was the uh, ridiculous gear we had to wear. Uh, and these were the kind of visuals that we generated. Let me show you just a, a brief video there from that work. Um, so we, we can select uh, uh, these, these flags, virtual flags that uh, uh, kind of indicate uh, uh, story points in the history of the campus, actually, in this case. And uh, up comes a, uh, um, uh, a wing of the Bloomingdale Asylum for the Insane, because that is what uh, what covered Columbia's grounds because before Columbia moved there, causing some people to say that things really didn't change all that much. And uh, uh, we had a handheld computer in 1997, running Windows 97. And uh, um, we, we used it as a kind of uh, um, like time machine to uh, browse the history of, uh, uh, of the Bloomingdale Asylum um, complex. And up would pop the, uh, uh, the buildings in front of you. So this play technology that we used there was very low resolution, uh, but there was a company called Virtual.io that made the 